This video will show the process of downloading the latest tools from the CAD Enhance website and then how to request a license once you download, the tool, download and install the tools. If you go to www.cadenhance.com free-free-tool downloads or go to www.cadenhance.com and do support free tool downloads you'll get to this table and the latest version of Windows tool will always be on the top. So today we're going to download the CE Win 1831, um, which was created on uh, 2018, March 14th. So we click on this to download it, and it starts the download. We're going to open up that file, and it will install it for us. Now that we got it, we're going to open it, and we're going to say Run, which will start. And it says ready to install version 18.3.1 of CAD Enhanced Tools. We'll say OK. And then it'll give us a place to select it. Um, typically, s extracting it to C colon is a good spot because it will create the CAD Enhanced level directory and uh, the tools will be put installed under that. For now, I'll put it in test install. Or let's call it CE test install. So we can see what a clean install looks like. So we're going to do a C colon C. We're going to hit unzip and it's going to unzip those files to there. Seven files unzipped successfully and we'll close that. Then we'll look at that directory. So we'll go to C um, test and CE test install is what we want. Right there, and then here we can look and see what the directory install that it installed looks like. So under normally it would put it under C colon, but we put it under C colon test install, and it created the CAD enhanced directory. Um, underneath that is a license directory, the part templates, a site directory where we can store site control files, and then the tools directory. So there's FPGA Pin Planner, NL Tools, Part Builder, SCH Check, Utils, and then there's also a placeholder for a work directory where you can store your parts if you want. This is the place where it will default to start building parts if you don't tell it you want to build them somewhere else. And that is how we do the install. So now the tools are underneath these directories, so we go to Part Builder and we can click on partbuilder.exe. We can right click that and pin that to the start menu if we want. And then that way we can go to start and always find, you're not going to see that, the part, men, the part menu. But for right now, so we're going to go request a license now. So we're going to double click Part Builder. It'll start. We're going to skip this part config, selecting a part config file. And we're going to go to license, request license. And a GUI will pop up. And in here we'll fill out our information. The the tool will read the computer serial number. That's what it's going to lock it to for your evaluation license. Um, then we're going to go, you're going to fill out. If you don't fill out all this information, it will tell you you need to fill it all out. Um, we're going to update the user count. We're going to accept the license terms. You can view the license terms here if you'd like and go through it. I know everybody always reads every single one of these things. And we'll close that. And then we're going to generate the license request. So the gen the license request builds a text file, license request.txt, and your next step is to email that to license request at cadenhance.com using your, your mail tool. So you say OK. We can close this. And if you look here, we any blue link in a uh, in the status window of the Cad Enhance tool, you can double click it and open it, or you can control click like it says here, and you can open the Explorer in there. So we'll do that. We'll open it, and now we have the license request.txt file. So you're going to email that to Cad Enhance. Cad Enhance will send you back a license.txt and license.dat file. When you get that, you will put it in the CAD Enhance license directory. So in my case, we were at CAD Enhance, we would go to the license directory and we would put the license.dat and license.txt file that I email back to you. And that's the, that is the process of installing and getting a license. Thank you for watching this.